the past been paid for. Yeah. This white kid up top, I like keep him on there. Yeah. Yeah. When he take it off, it's like he owns Hello everybody and welcome to NAEW North American Elite Wrestling. This is your host Danny Jackpot. Tonight we have four matches here presented to you in this whole brand new company. A company that I am proud to bring to you. Coming out to the ring right now Biff Andreas and the first of four matches. This will be the first of two matches tonight of tonight only. That will go into the NAEW 3 card. That will have a world that, that will give you a world champion. Biff Andreas, one of my good friends here in CAW, making his way out to the ring right now as the fans do not seem to be cheering him. And Biff seems to be just just taking it all in here. This new company, Biff Andreas, looking to score a big win here, move on in the world title fatal four way elimination match at NAEW four. NAW3. The Fatal 4 Way NAW3. Biff Andreas going to take on TJ Nicholson, former Western Tag Team Champion in NAW. I know. TJ Nicholson looking to start fresh here. As the fans seem to be actually cheering TJ on his way out to the ring. TJ Nicholson must be being cheered here because of the fact that he is facing Biff Andreas who the fans are not behind. Maybe they are tired of seeing Biff Andreas in a league brand like this. A league presented by Danny Jackpot. A league presented by Danny Jackpot. I'm sorry if my commentary is stale or a little bit off. It's been about, what, a year since I've commentated anything? In AEW looking to start fresh, looking to start new. I know some things will in AEW that will be happening. Let's talk about the card tonight first. Let's talk about the card being in AEW 1 upstart. We have the Fiesta the the the, the Frenzy Fiesta the NAEW Mexican Frenzy Fiesta Championship that will be presented to you next in a 10 man battle royal. The Tonight also we will have uh, one Fatal 4 match that will determine one of the two participants in the 20 man, 20, lim 20 minute time limit Canadian Leaf Championship in AEW, the, the Canadian Maple Leaf Championship here in AEW that will happen at NAEW 3 also. When you see Al Cabrera take on Mike Ballander and Aussie Andy and one other opponent that is yet to be named and the main event is going to be a guy who I've been in the ring with Lester Barkley taking on my cousin Zack Starr and the very first time those two will meet Biff and Jerry is taking it to TJ Nicholson Biff got to be the favorite here to win Biff whipping him outside the ring what's he trying to do here TJ on the apron Oh, TJ quicker than Biff here. Catching him with that stun gun across the top rope. Hip toss there by TJ. TJ now nailing with the back body suplex. And Biff was able to reverse TJ nailing him with the belly to back. Now Biff and me have gone a long time friendship here in Kaw over I would say 10 years now I've known Biff Biff definitely a, a veteran Biff got his start in a company that I produced originally called New Age Wrestling TJ Nicholson started in a little company called OPW very good friends with NAW it was OPW TJ got a big reversal on Biff right there. As Biff now rolling him up in a small package. Got a two there. TJ reversing it. Getting a two there. Biff reversing it. Getting a two there. TJ reversing it. Getting a two there. Biff now get Biff got two. TJ gets two. Biff now. And Biff gets two. And what a series of counter package reversals there by these two athletes. 
Biff with a huge backbreaker. And only in a one cunt now. Biff looking for the end. The wave of the future. Biff Andrew is now in the wave of the future. And TJ Nicholson just... Did he just stand up? The endurance on TJ Nicholson there. TJ has Biff weak here. Oh no, as soon as I say that, Biff reverses. But TJ now with two big clotheslines. Biff missing a clothesline of his own. Tilt the world backbreaker by TJ Nicholson there. If TJ can knock off Biff and on this world title tournament, that'd be probably the biggest win of his young career. Well, I can't say he has a young career. He's a veteran here in Colin now. And Biff quickly kicking out there. Oh, but TJ looking to nail the bone through. He does. Bone through. Can TJ finish him off? One. No, he does not. Biff does not want to lose in this opening contest. The very first match of NAEW. Springboard doesn't work for Biff, though. What's TJ playing here off the ropes? Big drop kick to the face on Biff Andreas. And again, the the cover attempt does not work for TJ. You know, these two guys, a lot of history between them, just in NAW alone. TJ looking for the, the pin here with only in a two. Biff now reversing it, only for a two. TJ reversing it now. Oh, I only get a two there too. Not not a lot of history as to say between these two themselves, but the fact that these two guys have been in a lot of companies together. The guys have been guys past not have crossed too many times, I would say. I believe this might be the very first time they're having a singles match. I could be wrong though. But Biff nailing that super kick. And TJ somehow kicking out again on one. Nobody wants to be the first superstar to lose a match here in AEW, but one of these two have to be it. And TJ with a big running neck breaker now on Biff Andreas. TJ bounces him off the ropes. Biff nailing a big drop kick after reverse and drop kick. Only one of these two men can move on into the World Heavyweight Championship. The North American, the NAEW heavyweight championship match on NAW3 Biff now looking to roll TJ up again only in a two TJ now rolling Biff up wait a second what TJ Nicholson wins TJ rolled Biff up and TJ rolled Biff up on Biff TJ reversed Biff's own move and was able to roll him up and um, these men were trading small packages throughout the whole match as you can see Biff, Biff was able to reverse TJ there. I can't even believe this right now. What what happened? Biff nailed the wave of the future. They only got in two count though. TJ rolling him up for that three. Small package reversal. TJ Nicholson wins the very first match of NAEW. TJ Nicholson will move on in the World Heavyweight title contention when he has a championship match now guaranteed at NAEW 3. One of four participants and one of them is going to be TJ Nicholson as he just cemented his spot in NAEW for that show with a big victory over Biff Andreas. You can even say this is an upset. As we got to move on now, this is going to be for a 10-man Rumble match for the Fiesta, the Frenzy Fiesta Championship, the NAEW Frenzy Fiesta Championship, a 10-man Battle Royal, and we're glad and glad to see Butch Simpson here in NAEW, the Cowboy Butch Simpson. 
Longtime favorite of mine, Butch Simpson. Glad to see him here in AEW. He's going to take on nine mystery opponents. No one's been named for this match other than Sean Dynasty. Sean Dynasty was named for this match when he was signed for this company. Does it make Sean Dynasty a favorite to win, though, as we don't even know what number he has drawn for this Rumble? Butch Simpson, unfortunately, having not draw number one. Would have liked to have seen Butch when we get a later entrance, because I like Butch. As we wait to see who comes out at number two. Oh, it looks like it's going to be one of the Nabo Conquistadores. It's Movado. Movado is here in NAEW. I can only imagine that Amarillo is somewhere far behind. Not too far behind, I should say. In AEW, the few, the Fie the Frenzy Fiesta Championship, the Mexican Fiesta Frenzy Championship, the Mexican Frenzy Fiesta Championship. Man, try saying that one three times fast. As this match starts right here, Butch taking it right to Movado. Over the top rope rules in this 10-man rumble match for the NAEW Mexican Fiesta Fre Fre Frenzy Fiesta Championship. I almost said it right that time, guys, and I even thought about it and said it wrong. Movado somehow able to hang on there, though. The fans seem to be behind Butch in this one, I would say. As of right now, Movado, though, don't forget, is a very, very good superstar, a very good man, very humble man. Doesn't talk about much, doesn't. Doesn't, doesn't brag much, and he also gives one fifth, if not most, most, most of it. I heard most. He only keeps one fifth, maybe. He has a lot of his money back home. As Hugo comes out at number three. Hugo, a, a member of the Goodfellas, a former member of the Goodfellas. I don't know what's happening there with those two. Sebastian Murphy. I know he is signed to an AEW as Butch Simpson takes a drop kick from Ovado and goes over the top rope before Hugo even makes it down to the ring. And Hugo is in no rush to make it down here because he has to go with seven more we go seven more superstars. But Hugo is a big guy compared to Movado. Big strong man is Hugo. Hugo Sullivan. Hugo Sullivan working Movado over, trying to toss him over the top rope. Hugo's gonna be a hard guy to toss over that top rope, guys. Trust me, I know that for a fact. And Hugo tossed it out Movado right away as soon as Hugo gets in the ring. With little problem there was Hugo eliminating Movado. Hugo now waiting for number four to come out. And it's Jason James, a member of the fraternity. I believe that's still a thing. Jason James here at it trying to win the Fiesta Frenzy Championship. Hugo. The Frenzy Fiesta Championship is one of the hardest things for me to ever say, but that's the name of the belt, so that's the name of the belt. The name of the championship, belt championship, is championship, guys. Jason James though, working over Hugo in a surprise in the corner. Hugo and Jason James locked up. Hugo looking to throw Jason James over the top rope. He does, but Jason James hangs on. Hugo now working him over on the apron. I'm so glad to be back here and call everybody, I should say, by the way. I'm sorry for the disappearance again, but the disappearance causes f fondness, and or, uh, disappearance is like a fondness makes your heart grow, right? As Jason James just got tossed out as Bonkers. Bonkers is here. Can Bonkers win this championship? Not with Hugo clubbing him down like that, though. Bonkers are going to win no title with Hugo clubbing him down and now working already, already been working on him on this rope. Oh, Bonkers ain't going to have a long, long time here, it looks like. I like Bonkers. I hope he... Oh, Bonkers stays. Yeah, Bonkers stays. Danny Jackpot here on commentary. Don't forget, everybody. Making his return to CAW once again. As another participant's about to come out. She goes working over Bonkers again. And it's the Nomad, Andrew Leanna. 
The Nomad and Juliana has made it here to NAW. Going right after Hugo and Juliana, scared of no man, I can tell you that right now. NAEW, fresh start for all these guys. I'm, sure, I'm glad a lot of these guys are just back to be on, in a cop promotion again. I know some of these guys had, had lost their jobs, hasn't had, had much work. And here comes the, the only guy announced for this match was Sean Dynasty. And here he comes at number seven. Which Sean Dynasty are we going to get is the question. Oh, we're getting the astronaut Sean Dynasty. I thought we were going to get the hardcore Sean Dynasty. The extreme Sean Dynasty. But that was not, that looks like to not be the case. We get the goofy, fun loving astronaut Sean Dynasty. Uh, we still got Sean here though. And Bonkers is tossed toss over the top rope as Hugo eliminates another superstar in this. Hugo's actually starting to become my favorite to win this. As Sean Dynasty's on the ropes. Hugo going after Leanna again now. Now, now Sean Dynasty and Andrew Leanna maybe. Working, working the tag team on Hugo. It's in it might take a few guys to toss the car over the top rope. As here comes Marcus Matrix at number eight. Marcus Matrix now in the ring. The most guys we've had in the ring, yes, right now. Four guys in this Rumble match right now for this Fiesta Frenzy, this Frenzy Fiesta Heart, this Frenzy, this Frenzy Fiesta Championship. Marcus Matrix has Hugo on the ropes, but Hugo able to get back in. And Sean, Di Sean Dynasty is eliminated. The only guy announced for this match makes very little impact as Andrew Leanna takes down the astronaut Sean Dynasty. Andrew Leanna now working on Hugo, taking him down with that wrestling, that, that, that very amateur wrestling like maneuver right there. And here comes Puck. I haven't seen Puck in the car scene in a little bit now. I believe since he got ran over with a car. I believe that was the last time Puck was ever seen on national television here. Well, he's only called national television and the last time he had a match online. <laughs> and Puck is easily taken care of by Hugo. <laughs> so Puck, <laughs> so it was nice to see you again, Puck. <laughs> Puck didn't have no luck, though. Oh, poor Puck didn't have any luck in this match tonight. Neither did his partner Bonkers. And now, Andrew Leanna and it's uh, it's Sebastian Murphy. And the question is, is he is he gonna help Hugo? Is he gonna get Hugo eliminated? I would say he, his music coming off as a distraction and the, and the crowd pop already kind of already kind of helped Hugo a little bit. Sebastian Murphy, the good fellows, are they back? Sebastian Murphy, what's he doing now? We haven't seen him around in a, in, a, in a while, but he's getting worked over by Marcus Matrix already as he was thrown over the top rope. Was able to hang on, and not no longer able to hang on. Sebastian Murphy doing the same thing as Sebastian Murphy was always doing. Not when it matches. And Hugo now being worked over by Marcus Matrix and Andrew Liana. These two might have to work, work together to eliminate this guy. And it works. And the good fellas doing exactly what the good fellas always used to do. Not win. As Hugo and Sebastian Murphy get eliminated within seconds of each other. Hugo had an impressive showing though. I don't want to take anything away from Hugo there. Hugo eliminated what? Five superstars I believe? Five superstars and all that? So Hugo had a dominant showing. As one of these two men are going to be the first ever NAEW Mexican Fiesta Frenzy, Frenzy Fiesta Champion. We have Marcus Matrix and Andrew Leanna. As these two now maybe kind of 
slowing it down made me realizing that, oh wait, it's just us two. You know, without Hugo in there, we're the last two that's going to be in this. Oh, God, a, a veteran like Andrew Leanna knew who was one of the last two, I guarantee that. Andrew Leanna, he's a, he's, he's a, he's a tough cookie to break. I'll tell you that. Marcus Matrix uh, and a great tag team with Dale Von Deuce. I know Dale Von Deuce will be here in AEW eventually. Team with Marcus. At least I hope to see those two teaming together. They're one heck of a tag team. Two-time Western Tag Team Champions, I believe. And on, on the NAW brand of things. Or the NAW brand is, is one. But Marcus Matrix now close line Andrew Leanna over the top rope. And he has became the first ever champion here in NAW. Yes, there it is. Marcus Matrix has become the NAEW F Frenzy Fiesta champion, the Mexican Fe Frenzy Fiesta champion. Marcus Matrix winning the first belt here in NAEW. Congratulations, Marcus Matrix. I'm proud of Marcus Matrix right there. As we move on here, Mike Ballander. Looks like he's be making his way down to the ring. Mike Ballander got no patience, it looks like. As he's ready to start his Fatal 4 and match that he's going to have with the likes of Ossie Andy, Al Cabrera, and an unknown challenger yet to be announced. Mike Ballander, he's, an, he's another face I haven't seen in Con in a while now. Mike Ballander will always have a job here. As long as I'm working in a production crew, he'll have a job here, and I guarantee you that, Mike Ballander. I like Mike Valander. I like a lot of these guys. Mike Valander hasn't changed a bit. Mike Valander going to take out one of my real good friends in here in college, though, Al Cabrera. So I, I, I might imagine I have to have Al's back in this tonight, though. It's, it looks like Aussie Andy making his way down to the ring. Yes, that's going to be him. Aussie Andy. A favorite with the crowd, you can see. Aussie Andy, always a big favorite with the crowd. Almost in any promotion he goes to. Aussie Andy also competes in Australia. Norm no normally competing in Australia. Always good to see him here in the States. Aussie Andy. Competes in the Global, global Rust in Australia, GWA or something like that, I believe. As we're about to see Al Cabrera make his way down to the ring. Al Cabrera, former NAW Mountain Range Champion, since the last time I got to call an Al Cabrera match. I like myself a little bit of Al Cabrera. This guy used to be a rookie, but I'd say he sure found himself here in CAW. A well-established talent now, I would say, is Al Cabrera. Still rocking the chin strap, Al Cabrera is. And there's Ossiani waiting, his, looking, waiting for Al Cabrera to come down to the ring, but Al Cabrera will not be the final entrant. The final entrant yet to be announced by the Call World, by the by, by the board up in AEW. They have yet to be announced, the committee. On who number four will be, they figured that this would be a better surprise entrant. Even the roster doesn't know who the fourth entrant is going to be. Al Cabrera, yeah! As I even wait to see who the fourth entrant is going to be. You got to be kidding me. Connor James is back. What? Connor James. Connor James is here in NAEW. Connor James. What a surprise. He's back. As, as you can hear Connor James yelling that on the way to the ring. 
Look at Mike Ballander, Ozzy Andy. Even, even Al Cabrera. All standing in shock. Ozzy Andy and Connor James have a lot of history with each other. And Connor James is back, baby. He is back. This is definitely a different dynamic to this match completely. Connor James is going to be a different dynamic to NAEW completely now that he is back in the casino. I wonder if that means that I will have him commentating matches with me again. I can only hope that means that I'll have him commentating matches with me again. I like Connor James. I like L too. Funny is they're both wearing black and white. They are not a tag team. I can guarantee you guys they are not a tag team. Yeah, they, 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 they sure are wearing matching outfits tonight though. A fail four way. The winner of this match will be guaranteed to move on to a 20 minute Ironman match for the Maple Leaf Championship at NAEW3. This match is not, is not an elimination, though it's a fit of four one fall match. It's Connor James is going to the ring post by Ossie Andy. Al Cabrera takes down Mike Ballander with a drop toe hold. And both men are now working on their men successfully. Keep staying on the offense. I just can't believe Connor James is here in an AEW. And of course, him and Ossie Andy are going right after each other. The few that will not die is those two men. I'll never forget when Connor James went to Australia to actually attack Aussie Andy at his own league. In his own home league. Mike Ballander, a great superstar for NAW West. Mike Ballander is a great superstar in NAW all alone. Didn't pick up much success there, never won a championship. Other than the hardcore title once, but not everybody wins a championship where they go. Mike Ballander would love to pick up some success and win, win that Maple Leaf Championship, be the very first one. His name on that championship. No, yes, yeah, it is called the Maple Leaf Championship, but none of these guys are Canadian. Actually, I think, actually, Mike Verlander might be Canadian. I think we might have talked about this on an episode one uh, one time. Huh. Not an episode in AEW, but... We'll, we'll have to go back in the home like we there. I'm pretty sure he's not a Canadian, though, everybody. I'm pretty sure he's not Canadian. <laughs> As you see, Connor and James working on Andy. Al Cabrera working on Mike Verlander. Ballander, ba sorry, not Verlander. Mike Ballander. As the Houston Astros are currently in the World Series, everyone, I'm sorry. Mike Ballander. By the way, go Nationals. I'm a Cubs fan. But none of this talk about baseball. We got wrestling going on in the ring. Ossiani, the big back suplex on Connor James. Delivering a leg drop to him also. And I'll take him down with a shoulder block. Shoulder block again by, uh, by Connor James. Oh, and that big, just spinning back suplex right there. Oh, they got a spin out power bomb. But Connor James' momentum seems to have been stopped as Va Valander now taking it to well, Aussie Andy. Seems to be picking up some momentum against Connor James. But Ballander gets reversed. But Ballander gets reversed. He, he gets a reversal. And just sides, what, sidesteps Al Cabrera's missile dropkick attempt. And big Samoan suplex by Aussie. By, on Aussie Andy by Connor James. He's able to reverse the Aussie bomb. I'm pretty sure with that. Able to reverse the Aussie bomb. And able to, able to saving grace as Mike Ballander trying to steal a pinfall during that. Only getting a, only getting a one or two. And the scoop slam power bomb, the Michinoku driver, almost stealing a pin for Valander. Valander almost beat Cabrera. With big, 
Solid two count by Valander. Cabrera the back suplex. And with the with, with, with that with that surfboard stretch like maneuver on Connor James, Cabrera breaking it up. A crazy fatal four-way match so far, everybody. Not sure who's gonna win. Connor James, as soon as I say that, looks to win. Almost tries to steal a pinfall, only gets a two on Aussie Andy. I bet you Andy would have hated to have got pinned by Connor James again. These are both, both those men be have beat each other multiple times in, in a feud. A few that might just never die. Look, Connor James is able to break up that, but will he be able to stop this? And Connor James, wait a second. He looks like he wants to stop it, but he, he, he he's he's acting like he was, but he seen Cabrera wasn't tapping. He seen Cabrera wasn't tapping, so he stopped. Connor James, a sick-minded, that sick-minded individual. He enjoyed watching how Cabrera sit there and rather in pain. Yeah, I think he really took the chance of Cabrera tapping to watch him just sit there in pain. Connor James, what a sick, what a sick, twisted, what a sick, twisted individual. And then he nails a saving grace on Valander. James breaking up the two count now by Cabrera, Cabrera by, by Cabrera. Wait a second, that saving grace by the, the, Cabrera steal a pin. Cabrera wins the match. Cabrera wins the match. Cabrera pins Valander. That was on Connor James saving grace. Connor James gets distracted by Andy for a second. And now Cabrera sneaks in, takes a pinfall on a move that the only reason why he didn't capitalize on because Cabrera was pinning somebody else. I can't believe this. Al Cabrera wins the Fatal 4-Way. Al Cabrera going to move on to the NAWE, NAW3, whatever show that will be named. And that will be, and that will be for the Maple Leaf Championship. Al Cabrera... There he is, getting his arm raised. Wait a second, Connor James back in the ring. What's he doing? Connor James, he is, he's the attack, he's the attack to Al. Now the saving grace on Al. And Connor James now, celebrating. Connor James celebrating what he just did to Al. Acting like he just won this match. Connor James did not win this match, everyone. Al Cabrera dead. But Connor James here celebrating that sick, twisted mind. And, and Connor James, he thinks he won this match. He thinks he defeated Al. Connor James did not win this match. Al Cabrera did. But we got to move on to our main event of NAW1. Lester Barkley taking on Zack Starr for the, first, uh, for the first time ever. The winner of this match will move on to NAEW 3 in that Fatal 4-Way Elimination World Heavyweight Championship match. World Heavyweight Title match. The NAEW Championship match. Lester Barkley making his, first, making his way down to the ring. This will be my first ever time commentating a Lester Barkley match. So sit back and relax, folks. Lester Barkley has earned my respect. He has beat me in a little league called CEXWI. Or CWXI, sorry. My, whichever one it is. I'm, I'm actually currently confused on which one that is. A little bit of being out of the league, a little bit out of the game. I know that me and Lester Barkley will both be competing in a 30-man rumble at their event. So make sure to be checking out the event that Lester Barkley usually they use Lester Barkley usually competes for. But Lester Barkley looking to make his name in NAEW. Looking to win a world championship here possibly. But he has to go through one heck of a challenge. Zach Starr. Zach Starr works, who works for WEDF. Works for NAW. Zach Starr one heck of a athlete. Is Lester Barkley still making his way in the ring checking scoping the whole scene out we're waiting in the ring for Zack Star now 
Lester Barkley. This is his first ever NAEW show, his first ever Danny Jack Property show that he gets to come on. And Zach the Real Star making his way down to the ring. My cousin Zach the Real Star, as the fans seem to be cheering Zach Star on. Fans did not take the Lester Barkley too well, I noticed. Zack Star here. Can Zack Star beat Lester Barkley and move on into into the into the Fatal Four Way Elimination Championship match in AEW three? That also will have T.J. Nicholson who qualified earlier. Don't forget when he defeated Biff Andreas in the very first ever match in AEW. Lester Barkley, Zack Star. Let's get this match in the roll. Zack Star with the early advantage here on Lester Barkley was able to knock him down with that kick. Barkley a lot bigger man than Zack Star is. Tell you that right now. And Zack Star with a spinning wheel kick at the top rope. That's quick. Zack Star relying on his quickness here to take it to the bigger man, Lester Barkley. I can tell you that right now. But Lester Barkley, the bigger guy, isn't isn't just a, isn't a big guy. He's he's an athletic guy for his size. Trust me, I've been in the ring with Lester Barkley, and he's no easy foe to take down. Lester Barkley delivering a leg drop to Zack Star. These two match in the main event of NAEW. Upstart, the very first NAEW show. NAEW started overnight. These guys all flew to come here to get this show on the roll. They said, "Give us a contract. Give us a time. Give us a place to wrestle, and we will wrestle." Lester Barkley, Zach Starr, the entire roster that was here tonight. Lester Barkley and Zack Star have been back and forth here now. Guys, I'm just happy to be back in call, and there will be more NAEW shows coming within the next few weeks. Don't forget as Zack Star bounces off the ropes, now in a hurricane run, as Zack Star was able to pull a little bit of the rope walking for a second there. Zack Star picking up Lester, but getting reversed. Throw him right to the mat when he attempts at a, attempts at a spinning drop kick. And Lester Barkley now working worked on Zack Star's legs there. And a huge spine buster by Barkley, showing off that strength and dominance. The star kicking out. This is the main event of NAEW. You want to know Zack Star already getting nailed with that with that huge slam of Barkley's. That was Barkley's finisher, everyone. I know that for a fact. And Lester Barkley, surprise here. Only get a two count. And Zack Star done reversing him. Getting a backflip kickoff. Zack Star now. Oh my god, Star Pressed. Not the shooting Star Pressed, we call it the Star Pressed. Zack Star only getting two on that Star Pressed. Star Jacked. Sorry, Star Jacked, he calls that. That's Star Power. Star Power, Zack Star's finisher. Only getting two on Lester Barkley. Both these men now kicking out of each other's finishers. But whose finishers took more out of uh, out of the other man is the question. Lester, Lester getting up now. Zack Star was trying to work on his legs. Big clothesline by Lester. Zack Star missing a clothesline of his own. I'm in a back body drop by Lester now. Lester's getting some momentum here. Big spine buster by Lester again. And a second giant spine buster by Lester. Zack Star's spine just must be busted. But only in a two count. Zack Star now 
It'll reverse Lester's. Lester must have surely been going for that finisher. Oh my god. He just plucked Zack Star in midair. And nailing that huge slam. Lester Barkley wins. Lester Barkley is going to move on to NAEW 3. Lester Barkley defeated Zack Star with almost ease, you could say. And a sickening easy defeat, Zack Star. Took two of those big slams. But Zack Star has been finished. Lester Barkley going to move on as he will take on TJ Nicholson and two to be named opponents in the next episode of NAEW. This was NAEW Upstart, everybody. And thank you. This is Danny Jackpot. I will be your host from the next upcoming weeks, hopefully. Or I'll be in the ring. Wait a second. TJ Nicholson coming out with Norm the Storm Daily. The Crusade? The Crusade is going to be here in NAEW? Norm the Storm Daily is here? What? What? Goodbye from an AEW.